your life a little easier with all the evidence you need to back it up. Now let's get started. Doggone it, company's gonna be here in 30 minutes and the brews are still sitting in the garage. You wanna be a good host, so here's a quick tip to get those beers down to a blissful, frosty goodness in no time at all. Take a bucket and fill it with water, then add a whole bunch of salt. Just go ahead and twist the lid off the salt shaker and dump it all in there. Then when the salt is dissolved in the water, add a whole lot of ice. Swish it around, stick your beers in there, and they'll be chilled in under 20 minutes. When salt molecules are dissolved in water, they have the ability to significantly reduce its freezing point. Normally, when water freezes at zero degrees Celsius, its molecules begin to crystallize and form ice. Salt molecules interrupt this development, which means that water will cool lower than its normal freezing point. With your beers fully submerged, the entire surface area is covered by freezing cold water, which means it will cool faster than just being on ice. Fruit flies have been buzzing around the kitchen and you come to realize that there are few and far things in this life as annoying. It's time to make a change and move on to a fruit fly free existence. Here's what you do. Take a small dish and pour a little bit of apple cider vinegar in it. Then add a couple drops of dish soap. Put the dish near the fruit fly fiasco and wrap the top tightly with saran wrap. The final step is to poke several holes in the saran wrap lid to keep the flies from flying out when they enter. Those little guys are very much attracted to the scent of vinegar. This is because their larvae feed on bacteria that grow in fermenting environments. Then that addition of dish soap breaks the surface tension of the vinegar. So in other words, when a fly steps into the trap and checks out the vinegar, it falls right in, rather than being propped up by the surface tension of the vinegar. You want to be the grill master of the year, but you can't seem to get your burgers right. Either they're too pink in the middle, or you've gone overboard and burnt them to a crisp. Good news for you, we've got a technique for the perfect burger without any of the health risks. When you squish your patties together, poke a quarter-sized hole right through the middle. When you grill the style of patty, it will cook evenly throughout. Every tiny little bit of ground beef in that patty may have potentially been exposed to germs and bacteria, so when cooked, you've got to get everything up to a safe 160 degrees Fahrenheit. As you're grilling your burgers, the browning patties are going through a tasty chemical transformation known as a Maillard reaction. When food is heated, a reaction occurs between sugars and amino acids that gives cooked food its color and its excellent flavor. So by poking those holes in the patties, you open up the center of the burger for more equally spread heat, which means that they'll cook faster inside without the unnecessary charring outside. And the best part, the hole will close up when it's fully cooked. There's no doubt about it, you've got to keep those dishes clean, but half the time you wonder yourself what's the point when your kitchen sink smells like mildew all the time. The sponge of yours reeks, and it's time to do something about it. Here's a quick fix. Double up your sponges. Use one for the first half of the day and the other for the second half. After every time you use a sponge, it's important to